I think we're there. Hey guys, it's Mene Mene, and today my early trusty sidekick, Shannon. Hi! I say that because Benny will be in in a little bit, probably while we're crafting. He's finishing up stamp labels, and this is one of those, um, our two o'clock live shows for December are optional for Benny, so he'll be here when he can be here, just to let y'all know. So welcome in. We are loving these two o'clock live shows, and I know we've only done one official, and then we had our um, the parade day. But today is our second official where Shannon and I have planned and got things ready for you. And for the whole week, we have some really cool stuff planned. And if you stick around to the end of the show, I'm going to give you some um, the names or the titles of the shows that are coming up. So you'll know what to be looking forward to. So I'm going to have to do Vinny's intro. Let's see if I can do it. If this is your first time being with us, welcome in. We are May May Made It. Um, you Anything that we use today that you're interested in, you can pick up from our store at MayMayMadeIt.com. And we ask that you like and subscribe. What else we say? And follow and share and Merry Christmas. Somebody said your mic is off. But why? Why is that the case? Probably so. Oh, all that that I'm saying, and they can't hear me. But Mike welcome Jen. in. So we're really, really excited. Um, Shannon and I, I'm loving planning these. Are you having fun playing yeah, them? Yeah, they are fun. It's a lot of fun. Today we're going to bring you three projects. And here's what I love about these projects today. Actually, all the projects, we're trying really hard to dig into product we've already had, dig into our stash, stuff like that. So everything we're showing you, you can literally do from your stash. You might have to edit it here and there. You might have to like change a stamp set or use a different punch or something like that, but you should be able to do this from your stash. So let me show you today's first. Um, you want to switch over? Because I there's a little delay for me. You guys know that, so I have to kind of talk a minute until I can see what we're looking at. But this is what we're going to be doing first. I think this is so cool. I'm in love with the whole um, black in the nativity and the scenes and things like that. You know, I just think this is so pretty. By the way, Vinny's chair is empty. He'll be in at He's some coming. point. He's coming. I'll take my glasses off so I can see. I know that's ironic, right? I need a teacher that says I got to take my glasses off so I can see. Um, but I love how this turned out. And this little ornament, it's an ornament or a tag. You could put a little circle back here and do to and from on the back. But this one features a stamp set we have called Angel Song. And I love it. I feel like I'm cutting it off a little bit for you guys to see it. But I just love how this turned out. And I think you guys will like it too. So let's get started making it. A couple of the things we're going to make today are going to feature this die set. Um, let me pull this one up. This die set is the circle die set from um, Dress My Craft. And today we're using these two. And you guys always ask me which they are. So here's how I'm going to show you. This is the largest die. That's, the, that's one we're going to use today, not in this project. And then this one is the fourth die down. So the fourth one in line. That's the one we're going to use, okay? So that die... And because we're trying to do so much in our 30 minute to an hour show, we're pre-doing a lot of things. So that die, what we did was we cut a black circle out of that die. And I know you're like, you don't think about black at Christmas, right? You think about all the other colors, but it really is pretty. Then we also used a stamp set. Let me show you this stamp set. This is Angel Song, which I think is so pretty. And bonus for you guys today, Angel Song is a vaulted set. That means this set is only $8.99. That's a really great price on this set, and it's perfect for Christmas because look at all the sentiments. Silent night, peace on earth, glory to God in the highest, angels we have heard on high, and heart the herald angels sing. So we use this stamp set, and let me show you what we stamped from it. And I know you're not seeing me do all this. We're, we're pretty much assembling, but that's the way we can get more done in a show. So you can see here we did this little girl, and all we did was cut uh, stamp her out on some cream. I thought the black and the cream looked really pretty together, so we stamped her on cream, and then I want you to see this. On a scrap of paper, okay, we stamped that little city up so I could have some land down here. And then when Shannon fussy cut this, she just fussy cut the top and left me all that space for me to use. Okay, so we did those two. And we'll talk about the other little things you need as we go. Let's go ahead and start working on this guy. So cute, so easy. So if you want to make like 20, cut 20 of these. Do all of these while you're watching a Christmas movie. It'd be super easy because there's no coloring to do. Here, we're going to color with um, ink. We're going to distress ink it. All right, here's where I want to start. Can you guys see that? Should I put white behind it? Let's do it. So it'll show up better. So it'll show up better. Here we go. Piece of white so you can see. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do 
is I want this guy to live right down here in the bottom. And all I'm paying attention to is that this side and this side line up on my circle, if that makes sense. Now, I want to tell you, if you picked up during our sale, if you picked up any of those clear ornaments, this would be really pretty to do this and then put that clear ornament, you know, the half circle ornament on top would be really pretty. I think that would look nice. All right, I'm going to add some art glitter glue to the bottom. Then I'm going to take my little city and I'm just going to place it, like I said, where the ground is on both ends. And I don't have to worry too much because it's a circle. Like you see how it went crooked like that? Don't worry, we can turn it this way. Yeah, it's just cardstock. Just cardstock. Now, you'll notice I did not ink the top edge of this stamp. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to be adding some of those pretty, um, what is this called? We're going to be adding this, the dream drops. That's what we're adding. And if you put the dream drops on top of Distress Ink, it can get muddy because it can bleed a little bit. So I didn't want to do that. So you'll see me use the Distress Ink, but not at the top of this guy. Now I'm going to turn him around and see this part that's hanging over. Watch this. I'm going to cut this out. Just going to follow that circle. And this is super easy to do. Um, this would be really good if you had your long Tim Holtz shears because they would just roll around it. But I don't know where mine are. I think they're on my desk, honestly, because there was a black pair up there this morning, and we didn't know whose they were, so I stuck them in my pen holder. See this? Now. Oh, is this at $9.99? I don't know. Vaulted. Whatever vaulted price is. All right. So, because regular price is $12.99. Mm -hmm. Why did I pick up my glue and take the pen out? I don't know. Habit. It is habit. I just wanted this guy. So I'm going to use um, vintage. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not the one I want. I'm not using walnut stain. I'm using vintage photo. I want it to be a little lighter than I normally do. And what I'm going to do here, do you see, I want to show you all this. Do you see how kind of messy my cut looks? It, and when you're using a light color and a dark color like this, you can really see your chop marks with your scissors. But if you'll just take some ink, okay, and just run around like this, it gets rid, it's like, um, what is it they say? It hides a multitude of sins, whatever that is. So look, and I only want it at the bottom. That's not going to mess with my, um, with my Nouveau drops. All right, then for this little girl, we're going to ink her as well, okay? I'm going to ink around the top, ink around her little hands, ink around her little dress, like so. And she's going to live right there. Isn't that cute? All right, now here's where it gets a little tricky, but not really tricky. Let's go ahead and put her down. I'm going to move this now since we're, we'll move this right here. And put my paper back, put my cardstock back. It's time to pop her up. And I have my foam right, right here. You guys, how have we still not had to get a new foam tape? I mean, I have a new one waiting in the wings. But do you know where my scissors went? My little snippers. Oh, they're right here. Oh, thank you. I saw them. Too. This is still, look, 91821, and I still don't have to have another one. So funny. So I'm going to trim this real quick. Get me a couple pieces of um, Scotty, and I'm gonna, only going to put it on her. That's all I'm lifting up is just the little angel. So I'll put a piece back here. Let me get another little piece. I just thought this was cute because she's flying over. So we're going to lift her up, and I'm going to go ahead and place her where I want her. Okay. Then, oh, I see that question now. How do you clean your cutter bees? I use, I use um, hand sanitizer. I see a lot of people saying that. That's what I use. I use hand sanitizer for a lot of stuff. Okay, now here's what I want to do. I want to take, i got to find all my stuff we put over here, my one-inch scallop circle, okay, or circle punch. And I'm going to punch a cream, the same color. It's so easy. We're not using much. The same color. I'm punching this one inch scallop. You see how you can use this from your scraps? Because we're not using very many colors. And here's what I want to do. At the top of this guy, okay, I want, let, let me show you what I did. This is exactly how I did it. I'm going to fold this guy in half, okay? Just fold him in half. And if he's not perfect, it doesn't matter because he's going to sandwich the whole ornament. Then I'm going to lay it down at the top where I want it. This is kind of my little ornament piece at the top. But here's the thing. If you put this guy directly on without doing this step, he doesn't lay exactly right. So if you do this and then you take a pencil and you trace right inside there, that it's you take off so little, but this actually does make a difference. Then I'm going to just cut this straight, just like this, straight across, just like that. It's crazy, but it makes a difference. <laughs> it's the tiniest little bit. All right, then we're going to take our glue. Oh, we need to we need to ink this up a little bit. 
front and back, just like so. Now I'm gonna put some ink, I mean some glue inside here on both sides, and now we're gonna sandwich it on that little flat part we made. If you don't do that, what happens is the ends of your little piece here stick up in the air, and we don't want that. We want that to lay flat. Let me squish that down. It makes it look like an ornament. It does, it, it makes it have the shape. So now what we're gonna do is I took some glitter card sock. This is kind of a copper glitter, and I just made these little pieces. I think they're 5 8 by half an inch. Yeah, 5 8 by half. And here's what I'm gonna do. Let's get ish if Shannon cut them right. They're kind of ish. <laughs> and let's get let's get fussy. On one end, I'm gonna put this into my corner rounder and do a quarter of an inch round. A quarter of an inch round. Do you see that shape I'm getting? And here I was thinking you just got your scissors and curved no, it. No, girl. You know me better than that. I do. I'm a tool person. I did I did cheat one time though. I did have to just kind of cut it up. All right, so there's that. So I got my little piece at the top and this did the same thing. I'll show you. This piece didn't cut perfect, but you'll see how we're going to fix that in a second. Now I'm going to add glue here and put this together because I want this to be double-sided. Double-sided glitter. Now I'm just going to stand them up so they're even and right here where it's hanging over the edge, it doesn't match. Watch this. And you don't have to do this. You could just ink this. I don't like to ink glitter paper though. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't hold well. All right, now this guy gets glued to the back, just like so. So we'll put a little glue. Somebody showed up. Oh, you need your mic. I'll get it. Somebody showed up. Oops. Are you using those circles? It's <laughs> not in the camera here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, if I need to get them back up for you, I can. That's no, what I'm saying. It's fine. I just throw the one in the floor. All right, so I got this little guy glued down. Everybody want to say hey to Vinny? I know you do. Hey, everybody. See He's that? Coming. Now we're going to poke a hole. And I'm going to use the larger hole on my crocodile. And I'm going to turn this around. And you'll see why. I want to do an eyelet. And I did this kind of half on and half off. I'll do it a little bit here. So I'm going to poke this hole. Okay. And I'm going to go into my We Are eyelets because I think these are so cute. By the way, we need some of these. These sold out. A lot of stuff sold out from the sale. Well, yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff. That's, that's the purpose of the sale. Right. I'm going to poke this through. This one was a little tight, so I had to kind of push that one pretty hard. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and kind of press that down. I just thought this would be cute. If this is going to be an ornament, adding that eyelet will give it some stability over time. And then I'm going to take this little eyelet setter, which, by the way, if you want to know how to use this eyelet setter, I have a video where I explain it in detail for you. And now I'm going to squeeze this. And I'm going to squeeze lighter and then firmer, like I start easy. Don't just don't just cram it, start easy. So now I have a little star up there, isn't that cute? All right, then Baker's twine. Baker's twine right here. And I'm going to do a slip knot through the ornament, just like so. And then we have, it's either a tag or it's an ornament. If it's an ornament, I tie a knot up here and tie it on the tree. But now for the, the pretty part. I love this part. And it's very deceiving. I want you to see this. This Nouveau drop is called, let me find the title, Golden Shimmer. And I was like, what? Golden Shimmer? That looks white. It's not. It is a golden shimmer. And here's what I did. I went to the top and I just started doing little dots. And these aren't to really, they can mimic snow, stars, whatever you want it to mimic. I made it more like snow because I went down and put some on the little house roofs too because I thought it needed a little light down there. But you'll see in a second how this turns out. This is so easy. You can make these an assembly line and everybody at the table can have one. Everybody's gift can have one. And it's not too late. All the stuff we're trying to bring you guys are going to be like last minute things you can do um, for the holidays. Because if you're like us, you're busy. And last minute's when you do things. Are y'all slacking because I hadn't been here? 415 people watching and 131 on the like what? side. What? They're slacking. They were like, Vinny's not here. We're not liking it. That's what I'm saying. They didn't like it because you weren't here. Maybe you didn't like it because I wasn't here. That's right. That's, That's right. They're not a fan of me. It's you, Cindy babe. said, Vinny came in and I hit the like button. <laughs> I've been trained. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Cindy. Good I job. need to do a better job. Why don't we go do something else and let Vinny control it. Just come do the whole show? No, no. That'd be bad news for everybody. Vinny crafts it. <laughs> Vinny crafts it. 
We made, made it. it. All right. Then the other thing I like to do, I'll show y'all this. Me and Shannon thinking alike. Y'all do. I just like to take what's left on the tip up there, like just a teeny tiny little bit, and just periodically, well, I got to get a little out. There we go. Make little tiny dots just to break up the perfectness. I want it to be a little bit random. So just some little teeny tinies in there. And I'm going to bring the other one up and let y'all see just how gold this gets. We'll stop there. We'll stop Purple right Lily, there. more yes. than likely your bottle is too tight. You need to, what we call, burp the bottle. Is it vacuum? It's made of vacuum? She said the, the glue is coming out from around the lid, yeah. not from the tip. It happened to me this morning. This one, um, Shannon brought one in. I don't know. Do we have it in the truck or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, we had two in the truck. We took them to our the parade, parade so we could glue stuff on it. It fell off. And um, it was doing to me this morning. And I had to just open it like this and then just close it. Just don't. We always want to close them real super tight. There's no need. When it stops, you stop. That's all you need to do. And that lets a little air get in there. All right, right, let me show you. There's the finished one. We did that one quick. All right, Shannon, on my end camera. You are perfection. See how gold that is? Isn't that beautiful? Yes, Solomon. I just love all the gold. Um, oh, and I didn't do I didn't show y'all, but you can see on the little houses, I even went down there and added it for a little shimmer. Just rubbed it around on there. And I just think it's beautiful. And I hope you guys like it. So that's number one. We're doing three projects today. Three that's number segments, one. Huh? Sure. Yeah. Three segments. It's a segmented so I seasonal most of the first seasonal one. seasonal segmented show. You did really quick on that thing, because I mean, it was like seven minutes after when I got in. We got two other projects, so we moving on. Go. We're going to move this one. Y'all, you know what else we want to do? We want to save all the projects that we're making in the show, and then at the end, like on the last show, go back over all of them and see what all we did. We think that'll be fun. So I'm putting this in the save pile. Hope we don't need all that food before then. Okay, so I'm going to move, and Shana's going to come over, and she's going to show y'all a what? cute... A cute angel project that we actually did at Open House. So if you're here at Open House, you probably did you this one. Know how to do it. And you can tell us in the comment or in the chat if you were here at Open House. All right, I'm trading places. Hi. You're it. Should we high five when we cross up? <laughs> Hoopa. Hiya. All right. We need the scoreboard. And this was our. What do we call this? The folded, folded angel. Folded angel. And I haven't made one of these in a little while. I probably should have practiced. <laughs> How long has it been? You should have been with I me. I don't know. You only made okay. about 900 of them so, here in Open House. I know, I did. So this is what I made for the kindergartners because I wanted them to see me yeah. fold paper. So I made five that day before lunch oh. right there with them. So I know it backwards. Don't worry. If you get off, I can help you. <laughs> All right, if y'all are wanting to make this, it is a sheet of paper that is five by six. Which way did we score it on? You the score it inch? on the tall side. Yeah, so <laughs> like that. Yeah, the tall side. <laughs> but you should have two no, pieces. There you sorry. go. Yes, I have, you have two pieces. You have a yeah. yeah. And it's every scoot over, half scoot inch. over yeah, toward Vinny, answer. toward Vinny. This way. Little more, little more, little more. Get this you in the middle. There way, you go. This way. There we go. It's and hard then, without a, a monitor in is. real time. I, I usually have one in real time, but we don't now. So. And you score every half inch. Oh, Kathy bought her orange slices and chocolate to be ready to make them. They're so good. Oh, they are. Soon as your mic did. Um, I mean, it could be. Nope, it is not dead. Okay. It is not dead. I'm just Somebody not says loud. They're having trouble hearing you. I'll try and talk louder. So she's scoring this. Um, is it five by six? It is five by six. Five by six piece of cardstock. She's scoring it every half of an inch, and you're going to do that to both pieces. So every half of an inch. When you, and I'll tell you this real quick, when you go to fold this, you want to make sure you fold the outside pieces down. So this is the top of her angel. Did you notice we were using a cut apart in the back? We can flip it over and show them. It's not, is it a cut apart? It's a mente page. And I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's yes, a cut apart. Cut apart. So that goes away when we're done. This is a great, this is another stash buster thing, okay? Yes. This is a great way to use up your stash of cut aparts that you aren't going to use as they are. 
do this and make yourself some angels or whatever. So see how she's going to fold up? That's what you want to do. That You want that first piece to make sure the ends are folded around your angel like that. And just accordion fold both pieces. Oh, Linda, welcome back. Wow, four years. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here and Merry Christmas. We're excited about the Christmas season. So I'm glad you're back. We're doing a live every day at 2 p.m., every weekday at 2 p.m. until the 22nd. Yep. Yes. Every day yes. at 2 p.m. until the 22nd, you'll see us live. So you can get caught back up quick, Linda. Look, you'll be like you never left. That's right. You'll be bored with us. <laughs> you'll be like, wow, I'm just as bored as I was four years ago. <laughs> like, now I remember why I left. <laughs> That's it. So, Linda, we're glad you're doing better from we your are. illness. And uh, hope that broken ankle will get you get going better soon, too. All right. So you see Shannon is accordion folding. I've accordion folded both pieces. Fold and crease and fold and fold crease and crease. fold and crease. That's crafter's calisthenics. We didn't say it. We should have. Then you're going to need some sticky tape. And all you're going to do is sticky tape one whole, s no, not one whole side. Yeah. Half of a side. Fold first. Fold first. All right, explain so the fold. I, I don't know, everybody does it different. I like to sandwich mine together and then go down to about where I think the head would be and fold over and fold over. You really can't mess this up. We did this with the kids from the span um, um, school here in town and everybody's was different but everybody was cute. But mm -hmm. basically you go one third of the way down and you want to fold these guys opposite of each other. She'll lay them down and let you see. See how she folded one to the left and one to the right? That's what you do. And then you take your sticky tape and run from your fold to the bottom. Vince, can you check her mic? They're saying it's not on, but I see it moving when she's talking. Uh-huh, it shows that it's on. Might need to turn her up. I'm Everything not says being it's quiet. on. All right, and then I'm gonna sticky tape both sides because we're gonna put our um, hanging piece in the middle. Our twine, our bodabra wire. Also, sticky tape in both sides is important. When, once you take cardstock and you do this accordion fold situation with it, it resists itself. It pushes away from itself, which it's supposed to. That's what makes her dress and everything. But you need sticky tape on both sides to help sandwich this together and keep it together. So I go about an inch or so up from the bottom and stick my bodabra wire. Show them. Do you have that package? Because I had people asking me what we know. Here it is. Let me show y'all. Yep. We use this. I know it's it's supposed to go with your Bodabra, right? But we absolutely love it. There's that for you to show. We absolutely love it for um, ornaments because it it's wire, so you can put it any way you want it. And then sandwich them together. And this is the Bodabra wire. We have um, silver and gold in stock. Um, we have a few things of the large packs, and then... Um, I think the large ones we only have gold in, but then we have quite a few of the little silver ones. Yeah, it's it's made for the Bodabra, but when we got our Bodabras for the first time and got that wire, we fell in love with it and started using it for everything. We'll make bows for cards, yes. use it for everything. And it's so, and it shapes so easy because it's wired. We love it. And then, I, not everybody did this. I like sticking my wings down. So I sticky tape the bottom side. I stuck mine down. Did not did oh, not everybody do it? Mine, no, some didn't. Mine just pulled apart. Oh, that's because y'all, hey, you have to pull both sides of the sticky <laughs> tape. I'm sure somebody said that. No, they didn't. Y'all, I was testing you. <laughs> that's why she did it. It was a test. It was a test. I didn't see it either. I must I have got it. I did not even. I pulled one. Cadaver wire. Yeah, somebody <laughs> thought you said cadaver wire. Bodabra. We have a pokey tool for this. And how many times does it take? There we go. <laughs> Y'all, it's been a while. It was funny because um, we we haven't done 
Did you do the live? You did the first live. So we haven't done a live yes. since Thursday, and now it's Monday, so it feels like it's been a while. But well, it hasn't. It, it just feels like, like it. I have been, I was out sick for two weeks. And you haven't done this since open house. Yes, I have not done this since open house. I haven't really, like, normal size crafted. We trailer crafted. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> We parade, we parade, we float parade crafted. float crafted. <laughs> my wings funny. are a little off, but oh well. That's okay. Then my wings are a little off too. My wings are a little off. Clean this mess up. We have these wooden beads, and the nice thing about this um, bow dabber wire is it's wired, so it makes threading things on really easy. And then I just make a big knot at the top. Don't pull it really tight and it kind of makes a little halo. Just a little circle. Just, Just to hold the bead circle. on. Hold the bead on. So it's literally a knot head angel. A knot head angel. <laughs> a knot head angel. So there's a little angel and they're so cute in all different kinds of paper. And again, it's a perfect way to use up your stash because yeah. five by six is not very much. You know Cutie what I'm saying? Cutie angel. Cutie Thanks for cutie. crafting with me. All right, my turn again. Tag, maybe's it. Benny, you want to answer some questions while we switch up? Yeah, if I see any, I'll ask them. Well, I saw some when I was sitting there. You're not seeing all the chat? Have you got it on all chat or live chat or whatever? Um, no, mine's on top chat. Do you oh. not read? <laughs> Were you not at the meeting? Y'all don't start on me again today. Okay, so where oh, can they see the float? Were you not at the meeting? I've got to tell that story when the day's Where can they see the float? Um, we probably have a picture uh, of it. Let's put a picture up. Yeah. Shannon probably, I don't have a picture of all of us on it. I just have a picture She's of got the, a couple pictures. The I empty think. float. Because she sent them to me. There's one. Here is a picture. I'm going to do this real quick. It's got Mexican food on it. It does. Okay. So you'll have to tell me when. I don't know. You're good. Right there? Right there. This is our float. It was a radio flyer wagon. I'm going to blow it up a little bit so you can see it. Isn't it cute? It was a radio flyer wagon. And we did not win a prize, but I like to say we got honorable mention. And the reason I like to say that is because one of the judges during the parade came up to our float and said, I'm so sorry. I voted for you. I love this. Da, da, da. But there were some incredible floats. So I was not, I was not sad, but I love how that turned out. It was a lot of fun. But I, I say we got honorable mention because the judge honorably mentioned us when she walked over to us. That's what we mm -hmm. said. That's right. Say what you have to to get through, right? It was fun. It was so much and fun. Tamitha posted the parade link. Yeah, we did a live show. Listen, I apologize. It was so hard to do a live. <laughs> it was. And I gave Shannon, I should have said this, but at a certain point I had to give Shannon the phone because I was right at the brake light. And I started to realize every time we would hit the brakes, it would my screen would glow red. And I thought, this is not, people are not enjoying this. So I thought if I hand it back, y'all get a different view from Shannon. And then also, um, it, it got away from the brake light because yeah. it was right on me. Somebody said the parade was fun till it y'all suddenly disappeared. It, I think our, we lost signal and we it did. just, and it just cut out, but we were literally at the last turn. Uh -huh. I mean, we were not very far. All right. I don't, we didn't get a picture of it at night, like an actual nighttime picture. No, I have some, um, that, like my in-laws and my brother-in-law sent. Oh, yeah. But they were all kind of blurry. Cause I didn't see those. It was moving. Um, let me see. Did I zoom in? I tried to, but I don't know if I did or not. Did I zoom, Shannon? I didn't. Yes. Okay. Here's one. Here we go. The, oh, but this is blurry. good. It's a little blurry, but we but, were yeah. moving. So can we get that in there? You're there. Yes, Ma, the words were done with the cricket. Ignore yeah. the faces because we're like, whoa. <laughs> Shannon, your face is hilarious. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm not ignoring it. The Shannon's <laughs> face. And I'm pointing. You are. You were throwing it to somebody. I think I was trying to tell Noah that there's Nanny and Pop. Oh, you probably were. Because, like, there were so many people, y'all. And like somebody would scream your name and you'd go to look and like, for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow that we need pictures of our faces? That's your no. picture. I'm using that one. <laughs> you aren't getting it. Thank you so much for hoping one day I get my dream home. The other floats were, um, I told them the street I wanted to live on because we went mm. down the street. Um, the other floats, the ones that won, one was a Beauty and the Beast float. And then it was three places. One was 
Snoopy didn't, did it? No. Whoville? Um, one was Whoville that won? They were yeah. really good. It was, there, there were a lot of really, really good floats. Yeah, it was good. All right, let's make one more angel project today. One more. I love these little projects. Um, the, the reason I like these is because they can be tags or ornaments. So you see this little angel. Now, here's where this comes from. Some of you are going to recognize this, okay? This comes from fabric. Y'all know I've been doing a lot of fabric crafting. And this is actually taking circle fabric um, sewing it together, turning it inside out, and then turn and then making this. And I'm like, we can do this with paper. So that's what we did today. We worked this out. Again, we're using that same circle die that I showed you earlier. This I'll show you. Actually, it's the bigger one, I think. Yeah, it's the same, it's the largest one from that pack. We're using that larger circle die. And we have cut this time. I wanted something double-sided. So I've done two. I've done a double-sided one here and then a solid one. You'll see why on the solid in a few minutes. And then let me show you the other pieces we've got. Janet, you can shop at our store online at www.maymaymadeit.com. And you can find uh, all the supplies that we use each week in videos. Tina, can you Most send us that? Most of the time, uh, you can find them in stock. Sometimes Tina has, you can't. Tina has a video of the parade, especially our float. I didn't see you, Tina. I thought you would be, I knew you'd be there because you said it, but I didn't see you. Okay, check this out. You're going to need two ovals now we got this oval i'm just showing you where we got it from we got this oval from right here it's this guy right here from the double stitch oval die okay it's the third one in that's the one i used and we cut two of those we did a one inch scallop circle and a one inch circle punch okay so let me show you how this works so easy don't blink it's one of those don't blinkers okay this guy now you're not gonna love this part but this is how it works okay we're gonna fold back about an inch. Do y'all hate about an inch? If you hate it, if you hate about, let me show you. If you don't want to do about, put this into here. Just check your pattern. It goes like that. Put this in here and then go. This is four and a quarter. So let's go to three and a quarter. If you don't want to about, if you want to know, just score an inch. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Tina. We want to see it. So just score an inch. And then what I want you to do is fold backwards. Okay. So imagine this was fabric. It was fabric. You'd fold it back and then you'd iron it. This is what we're doing, ironing it. <laughs> now, I'm going to find the center right here, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to bring these points together and I'm going to squeeze right here, but I'm not squeezing the rest. You see I'm leaving it round? I don't want to squeeze the rest. I just want to find the center. And now I'm going to take this point and fold it down to the to the middle, okay? So you see what I'm doing? I've made that center, and I'm gonna go down the middle, just like this, and then we're gonna crease. If you're doing it with fabric, you'd iron, <laughs> okay? I will tell you the dimensions. We'll measure those in just a second. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing, and this is where our little dress is going to be created. This is so cute to me, I love this. So see our little dress? Cute, right? Don't worry. If you have this same little issue up here, because you're not going to see any of that, okay? Now what I'm going to do before I forget, because I forgot earlier, here's what I want to do. I want to take a piece of bow dabber wire. This is too much. Let me, I'm going to cut this in half. Yeah, I just gave her wire, y'all. Yeah, we can use the other half for another one. So I'm going to turn this down like this. And what I'm going to do is tie a knot, okay? So I'm going to come right down here, tie a little knot. Also, um, Tori was asking if we could, no. Who has, uh, Ma Foster asked if we could share the dimensions. We can, but I want to tell you something. If you don't have the same size as I'm using, all that matters is the shape. You'll just get a different size um, deal when it's over with. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take some glue, and I'm going to put it inside of here, because I want to glue this down anyway. Okay, I'm going to glue this like this, and I'm going to take this little guy and lay it in here so that the knot catches at the top there, and then I'm just going to seal this down. So now my little ornament hook is in my little, um, what's that called? Ornament hook. This what it is, is in there. I'm gonna put a little more glue down here because I didn't quite get it low enough to get it to stick. So do it like that and let that guy stick. <laughs> iron. No one wants an iron. No one wants to iron. Okay, so there's that. Now then, let's put our wings on. I'm gonna show you how I put my wings on, but this is your angel. Do what you want, okay? I took this little guy and at this point, I wanted about half of that wing sticking out at that. That's where I lined it up right there. Okay. I, just about half of the wing. I'm not real picky about that because it can be wherever. Okay. 
So let's put some glue down here on the bottom. Now, if you know this about art glitter glue and glitter paper, the more glue, the better when you're using a glitter paper, because what happens is the glue has to get down into the little glue to the glitter and hold it on. So that's why you saw me put a pretty good bit of glue on there. So there's one wing. So now you guessed it. I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of line it up here. See that? And then glue that one on too. Onto the back. I think this is a really cute, easy project. Yes. If you have at church, if you have like an angel tree or something, this would be a cute way for people to, if you put the present, what the gifts are that they need to get would be cute on the back of this little angel, I think. We have a glove tree, so um, ours is done with gloves, but I think this would be cute on a little angel tree. Okay, now this was all Shannon. She's like, hey, if you cut this little gold one, you can make a halo. Look at there. It's a halo. So all you're going to do, put a little glue here. Put this little guy like this and then line it up so you have a little halo. Now, you can have a big halo or a little halo. Depends on how good your angel is, right? Depends on how good your angel's been. What's bigger? What angels get? Bigger wings or bigger halos? <laughs> I don't know. If you've been good, is your halo bigger or your wings bigger? What do you think? I don't know, bud. I want my wings to be bigger so I can stay up real good. <laughs> Something steady, huh? Yes, that a lot of people did this with a heart. We didn't do it with the heart punch or the heart shape because our heart punch was a little smaller than we wanted it to be. But this is that's the thing. You can get around everything. You, it's paper crafting. We can do you anything we want. Heart die, you could use a heart if die. you had a large heart die, and then you put your little head wherever you want it. And I did pop it up on a little bit of foam because I like that little bit of dimension. Yeah, we did that because our heart was just not quite this big. It was a little too small for me to get the look I wanted. And there she is. Look how cute. Now, you could distress ink or all that kind of stuff. But let me show you this, too. On the back, we put this little piece on there. Do you see that? I'm going to show you how Shannon did that. Shannon did it like this. Did you glue it? You didn't glue it down. No, nope. I cut it first and then... Okay, so here's what she did. She she matched these guys up at the bottom. This is what she showed me. Let's see yep. if I can do it. Let's see if I can follow instructions. So match your little circle up at the bottom. Remember, this is that second die we cut. And then she traced like this... And like this, down the sides, under the wings, okay? Then when she picked it up, she just cut straight. Did you do it with scissors? I did. So she took her scissors, and she just went straight up. Come down just a little bit. Oops, my bad. There you go. Like that. And then straight up on this side. Yep. And what this does is it will kind of, it doesn't feel right, but it is. <laughs> For a it minute is. I went, that's not right. It this is. will kind of clean up the back and also give you a place to stamp. See how it kind of hides your little wings? It's so cute. And let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to stamp it. Uh, did you want that too in front of you? Oh, I thought it was right here. I thought you put it here. You did, didn't you? I probably did, and then I set it over here. See? Too efficient. You know, we're too efficient. That's the problem. I'm trying to clean it up. So we're just taking from any of our tag sets. You can pick whichever one you want. All of our tag sets have a to and from on them. Or you can write it. Or you can write it, yeah, use your handwriting. And then we're just going to put to and from on the back of our little angel and use it as a tag. Or an ornament, just give it as an ornament. It'll be cute. Then we're going to glue this down. I and think kids would love making these. So kids love, here's what I know about kids, okay, from when we've crafted with them. When they can take shapes and turn it into something else, they love it because that's easy for them to do. Pre-cut shapes. That, come in, that turn into something else make them feel very accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no folding or anything. There's nothing hard here. You know what I'm saying? And they can feel like they've created something. And kids don't like, I know that people think that kids don't care. That's not true. When we've taught kids, they want it to look like the sample. Uh -huh. You know, they want to feel accomplished. And this is a good one for that. So there's our three crafts. Let's bring them over. This one was drying. Well, look, it's already pretty dry. It was drying. Let's bring them all over so y'all can see them. So it was all about angels today, but really it was about using up that stash because look how many, look how many scraps you can use up for these kinds of projects. I mean, all of this can be from scraps. Let me tell you the size of my circle. Yes, you could do that, Becky. She said she'd like to do the whole piece of white on the back of that one and you could use it to put money or gift card in. You could. Three, this is, um, I'm going to say this is a three and a half inch circle. Because if I measure from cut line to cut line, it's three and a half inches. So that's how big we started with on this guy. No, 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 no. That's the one for the ornament, three and a half inch. And let me measure the other one for you. Do we? Yeah, it's in here. No. 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 It's down here on the oh, floor. did it fall? Can you get it if you can? I'll come around. I, 
did it. He's going to be down there before you get there. No, he's not. All right, and then this one, I'll measure it, too. Just because uh, you told me to stop. Becky had to rake leaves. She missed the first one. You you can go back and check it out. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. So that's the size we started with on the angel was four and a quarter. So you can see that. That's such a small piece of scrap, you guys. These are such small pieces, pieces of scrap. And you can just feel so good about it because you're not just, I don't mind taking scrap and gluing it down and making the background. But I want to do other stuff with my scraps. I have two, you know, we have too many large sizes of scrap. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I don't I mean, want to just turn them into backgrounds. If you have a six by six paper pad, a Christmas paper pad, you can make so many of those ornaments. Right. It's a bow dabra and it's the thing that helps you make a bow, which I think we're out of them right now, but. I don't even think we can get them anymore. Do you think not? I don't think they so. They may be gone. I don't know. I haven't used one in years, but it's a cool little tool for making bows. All right, guys, let's do our other little things today. So there's our mm -hmm. ornaments. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I, these are fun to me. I think this is a, a good, um, this is basically what we're going to be doing for the rest of the month, giving you these kinds of projects. So every day in these shows, well, when we can, because we've told y'all sometimes we're going to be on site and you'll hear about that in a minute. Okay. We're going to do, is this a question? We're going to answer a question. So this is our question cup. Okay, so some of you guys have submitted questions to the question cup. If you would like to be in, you could probably go big faces now at this point, you think? Probably. I don't think I have anything to show for a little while. If you want to be in the question cup, submit a question and we will put you in here and I'm going to draw one out and we're going to answer a question every day. So this one says, oh, this is a good question. Ready? How do you decide what to purge from your craft room when it just gets too full? All right, I'm going to start and then we'll let other people give their advice too. But here's what I say. Whenever I have too much in my room, this is what I do. I look at what I'm making, okay? I know for me, crafting evolves. It changes over time for me. So I'm making a lot more of this than I ever did before or some crafts I may have put aside altogether. If I have tools that were only for something I did ages ago or if I have projects, listen, don't be afraid to get rid of projects you didn't finish if they've been sitting there that long, you're probably not going to finish them. You know, is there a time frame? You know, for your closet, they say a season. But for your craft room, I say this. Never get rid of a tool that's used for many things. Never get rid of that. But if you have a tool that's specifically for, you know, let me look around the room. Let me get a tool. Uh, explosion box board. Maybe you bought an explosion box board and that was your thing. And you did it and everybody got them, right? And now you're kind of like, I'm not really doing those anymore. Then that can go away. Um, when you have too many scraps, you need to go back and watch my Stash Buster videos and use up those scraps. Shannon and I have made some really cool videos for you doing that. Get rid of your scraps. The other thing, well, that's how you decide what to purge. If it's not in your wheelhouse anymore, if you don't enjoy doing it anymore, purge it. Okay? Don't feel bad. Here's what we say. Find yourself a Sylvia. Now listen, <laughs> Sylvia works with her church. Okay, so she is, I don't know if she's over her Sunday schools and her children's ministries or whatever, but she's, she has access to that. Okay, she never wants us to get rid of anything because her church needs supplies all the time, especially smaller churches. Now, let me say why. Bigger churches, when they have like kid, when they have like 30 or 40 kids in a room, they have to have enough of the same to do for 30 or 40 kids, right? But when you have these smaller churches you can donate to, if you have one piece of 12 by 12 paper, they can a lot of times cut that up and use it for five or six students. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So depending on how much you need to donate, think about the people, that kind of use case scenario. Okay. The other thing, think about your senior centers. If you have a senior center in your area, find yourself the extension office. Do you guys have an extension office? Is that the, um, it's not 4-H, is it? <coughs> What's the extension club related to? I think it's. I don't think it's 4 H. What is our extension club? Can you Google it? <clears throat> I there, would also check with um, elementary schools. Elementary teachers, schools. Mm -hmm. Or even just like kindergarten teachers. <laughs> I, mean, I have so many for you. Ready? So check with your extension offices. Also, find your art council. You probably have an art council in your area. Get connected with your art council. There is probably somebody teaching classes that could use supplies. Check with your DHR. Everybody has a DHR. When they bring those kids in and they need something for them to do, 
when they're sitting in the office, when they've been brought in for interviews, things like that, they can always use it. Another even better thing to do, make up some kits and take to DHR and places like that and see if they can use it for kids. <clears throat> Not so much hospitals and emergency rooms, it doesn't work like that, but there may be other programs that work with kids and teenagers. Look at your camps in your area. We have, I'm thinking of all the places in our area that would take, that some of them do take from us, okay? Another thing, if you are a person that likes to teach, ask if you can come to these places and teach for them. For example, we have a, a group called the SPAN program, and it's just a, a school, it's an alternative school situation, and they ask us to teach, and we supply our kit. So if you're willing to do that, that's another way to use up things out of your craft room. There's so many ways to do it. I understand it. We want it. We buy it. You know, we think we need it forever, but don't feel bad when it, you've moved past it, when you're out of that season, that happens, okay? Don't feel bad about it. Um, Co-op is state, university, and 4-H as well. Our extension office, they do stuff, it is 4-H, I thought it was. They do stuff with um, students all the time, every age group. Your local library, another great place, they have people that come in and teach. Um, we have a little place in Jemison, they have classes like every week for kids. There's plenty of places to take your supplies. Don't worry about that. You just got to find the right place. Okay. Um, anybody else have a, Shannon, you have a suggestion on how do you decide what to purge from your craft room? Well, I mean, like you said, your, your crafting changes. I mean, I used to make a lot of felt t-shirts for Noah and he's outgrown it. So I have all this felt that I don't use anymore. Um, I've made ornaments with it, but I'm done. So it's going to Sylvia. <laughs> we call it our Sylvia stash. It's going to Sylvia. I bring stuff into Sylvia a lot. We actually, we had um, some folks come bring us some stuff at Craft Acropolis that was overage from VBS or something. I think so. And they asked if we knew someone who could use it. I'm like, yeah, Sylvia. Sylvia. Because she used it at her church. Um, and she was very happy and very grateful. She was yes. very grateful. Um, again, don't get rid of tools. Here's what I mean by that. An ex um, an explosion box board is something you can get rid of. That is something that does, I know, everybody, look, there's a hundred different ways to say it. Yes, those boards can do other things if you figure that out. But if you're a person who goes, this is my explosion box board and that's what I use it for. If you're not making those anymore, that can go. Somebody else can use that, right? But things like hole punches and scissors and trimmers and stuff like that, yeah. unless they're just either broken or, <laughs> bless you, so outdated, that I would never get rid of that kind of stuff. I, would I didn't remember to, to turn my mic off. Thank you. One other so thing I before I forget, I want to make sure I say this to you. Also, your color palette. Use your color palette to purge. And y'all think I'm crazy about this, but listen, I'm not a green, yellow, pink, purple person, okay? So... I don't lean to those colors and I tend to have that stuff sitting on my shelf because I don't lean to it. It's not in my, it's not what I enjoy, right? I don't anymore because Shannon is a green. Uh, I'm the green. You're I'm the, the green, green person. brown person. She's a green. Green brown. So lean to your color palette as well. You may go, you know what? I'm Surprise. never going to use hot pink and get rid of it. Okay, that was great. That was fantastic. Let's do two things. Number one. So we're doing something at the end of all of these shows called Would You Rather. We have a Would You Rather cup as well. <laughs> so I'll hold it up here because y'all can't see there. We have a Would You Rather cup. So I'm going to reach in here and pull out a Would You Rather saying for today. And what you do with this, I need you to listen so you know how to get involved, okay? Um, oh, that's a funny one. At the end of our live show, not in the live chat, it goes away if you put it in the live chat, but at the end of the live show, we want you to come back to the comment section and answer the Would You Rather that enters you to win a prize. Okay, we give away one prize a week for this. We draw it on, well, uh, Tamitha drew last week's this morning. And the winner for last week is Kathy Van Deest. And you are winning an ephemera stack. It's a stack full of ephemera products. We're going to be sending that to you. And she said she would rather watch the Nutcracker, especially when her granddaughter is in it. So that was her Would You Rather. Remember, it was the, that one came from the Nutcracker when Would You Rather Be In It or Would You Rather Watch It? Yeah, that one. So that was that one. All right, today's would you rather question. Ready for this? Remember, don't answer it now, save it. Would you rather have Christmas tree tinsel for hair or have fingernails that light up like Christmas lights? This is a hard one because I'd like both of them, I'll be honest. I was going to say, <laughs> you, you, you 
were awful jealous of Lucy's tinsel hair. I want tinsel in my hair, and I talked to the lady about it, and that tinsel can be curled up to 400 degrees or something like that. 425 degrees, it'll curl, which means I could put it in my hair and have flippy tinsel hair. I'm all about the flippy okay. tinsel hair. <laughs> but can, but the, light up fingernails? The only reason I wouldn't want light up fingernails is because it would be so distracting on my YouTube videos. That's the only reason, because yeah. I would totally have them. Can you imagine the, the emphasis you could put on things when you're talking with your hands? <laughs> if you had light up fingernails? <laughs> Shannon, which would you rather have? I'd probably go for the tinsel hair. <sighs> Vinny, tinsel hair or light up fingernails? Oh, definitely light up fingernails for me. But that would ruin your hunting. Think about it. Ooh, that's Very distracting. Cool. Very distracting. But that tinsel hair. You would put be, a hat on. You can put I a could toboggan cover it on. With a hat. Good point. I could Good see point. you like, with a little uh, with a tinsel swoop, something like that. Just a tinsel swoop. <laughs> well, there you go. My mom used to say, "Just a shock of fusion." <laughs> I can't say why. Just a shock of fuchsia right there. You can just a have shock a shock of, of tinsel. <laughs> shock of tinsel. All right. Save it for the after. Save it for when we uh, turn out the chat. So or to, after we go live. All right. I promised my friend I would tell you this today. This is very important information. Out of everything we've said today, this is the most important. Missy and Rodney at Rustic Relics have a sale on their website. And if I don't tell you, you will miss out. So their boutique not their Facebook and not the store, but the boutique is having a sale online. And I'm going to read it to you because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, the website is Rustic, but you got to spell it right. Uh, Tamitha will put it in here for you. Rustic Relics. And it's 15% off a $50 or more order with the code DECEMBER. It's only on the website. Here's why I wanted to tell you about it. Their clothes, um, this is one of their shirts today that I'm wearing. Have you got one on too? Yep. yep. We both have on Rustic. Shirt. So this is a Rustic shirt. This one is online. I don't know if you can see me, but it's got the split side like this. It's waffle fabric. Is that how you say it? Waffle fabric? It's, waffle. it's very soft. If you're a person who overheats, this is the shirt for you. You do not, honestly, if you're a person that overheats, this is the shirt for you. But if you're a person that likes to layer, it's a good shirt too. Like Shannon's got on her little vest today. This is a good one for it. So they have this available in like four colors. I think I'm looking at you like you've been shopping online. Yeah, I can say I'd really not. But familiar. I think they have it in four colors. And they have the one Shannon has on is online too. You you don't want to model yours? I did. Well, I can't back up. Like, you can't. Come over here. I will lean. Let me we have a delay, so are we in camera? We don't know. I don't know if I'm here or not. <laughs> Oh, you're just leaving I'm your desk. Leaving you're just desk. leaving. Talk about. Does this one have the split side? This one no, doesn't. This does not have a split side. This it one is, is just the longer length. I love the length of this one. It's almost like a Long skirt. Sleeve. And it's very thin. And it's see how good thin. it is underneath like a vest? Now, this yeah. is Shannon's own vest. Yeah. But isn't that cute under there? I, I love think it. This was a rustic purchase a while back, a couple of years ago, honestly. It could have been. Could have been. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was an old rustic purchase. Vinny, you haven't been shopping? <laughs> Well, not on Rustic. Not for women's clothing at Rustic online. You did shop at Rustic. What'd you get at um, Rustic? Why not? It wasn't you from have online. A life and Christmas is coming. Yeah, I already ordered her Christmas. I just hope it makes it in time. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. What'd you buy at Rustic this weekend? Did we go for you or for me this weekend? For me. For you, yeah. What did we get for you, though, from Rustic recently? What did you get for me for Rustic? I got my new tables for downstairs. Mm -hmm. I got a camp stove to use as a, 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 a riser. And I got some stuff to put in my turkey decoy, not a uh, turkey call box. Yes. To uh, like risers. All from Rustic. All from You'll Rustic. You'll see it in my home tour. Home tour's coming. Uh, Brenda and I want to film each other's homes for our channels we want to do a collab but brenda has had a go of it she's, she hasn't been able to she had a grandson who was in the playoffs the football playoffs they won first place we're so proud of brax and his team but it's mean brenda has not been with us for a while um then this weekend was it this weekend or last weekend when uh bryson got sick this weekend this weekend she was so excited she was going to come see us well it was in the middle of the week because she was going to come see us and then bryson got the flu and she had been around her, so she said, I'm not coming. I don't want to bring the flu because Shannon just got over it. And then um, after that, then this morning she messaged and she said she's hurt her back. Y'all keep Brenda in your prayers. So she's not coming today either. But I, we're going to do the home tour, but I want to do it when I can film hers and she can film mine. And we might even do it. We talked about doing it as one of our live shows this month, but the problem is I don't think her internet holds out well for lives. That's what she's worried about. So we'll see. 
All right. The last thing I have to tell you um, is, do you want to hear the titles for the rest of the week? We're very excited about them. Exciting. Sorry, I was shopping. We have two field trips this week. You're shopping. She's shopping. We have two field trips this week. So tomorrow, the whole show is going to be about ugly sweater weather. Not the stamp set necessarily, but our projects tomorrow will all be themed around ugly sweaters. And they are cute, funny projects. You're going to like those. Yeah. Then Wednesday, we're doing Merry Christmas. We've never done anything with mice at Christmas, so we think that'll be cute. Thursday, we're heading out to Grace Monroe Home. That is in Maplesville, and they do wreaths. They're going to be doing a wreath for you from their kitchen. This is going to be a lot of fun. We've never been out there. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to head out there. That's just going to be, uh, I have to tell you too, Vinny leaves Wednesday morning, Wednesday night. It's about lunchtime. Vinny leaves Wednesday, headed out for his, his um, Texas hunt he's been so excited about. So he won't be back until Tuesday. You yeah. probably won't be on the show until the following Wednesday if you're batting in. Yeah, I'll probably be back on Wednesday. Vinny's off for a week, so you don't see him but for a while. No, I won't be here on Wednesday because that's oh. when Dad's having a stress test. He may be gone longer than that. I Vinny's may be got. <laughs> I may be out for a while. Vinny's got, his dad has a test next Wednesday, then Vince has an allergy test Thursday. Yeah. And then a MRI Friday. Yeah. So uh, on his shoulder where he, he fell ages ago and it just hadn't got better, he wants to get it checked out. So Vinny has a couple of appointments. So you may not see him again until the week before Christmas. Wow. Yeah, I may be out for at least the next 10 days. He'll be back home. Well, you'll see him. You'll be in the, you'll be in the, any nighttime show. You'll be here yes, for that. Yes, any yes. nighttime show. So just know that. Then Friday, I'm really excited about this one. We're calling this one Pancakes and Pajamas. And uh, Shannon and I are going to be live from my home. <laughs> I'm excited. Vinny won't be here to see this one, but we're going to be live from our home. And the plan is we're going to be wearing PJs and we're going to be doing all pancake themed. You're going to love it. There, I'm going to bring you one of the um, things I used to do, one of our traditions we used to do for the kids that always blew their mind. It's not that big of a deal, but they were always blown. Their minds were always blown about it. So I'm bringing that to you and we're going to be doing um, and I'm gonna miss pancake themed. That? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. very depressing. <clears throat> but here's what you need to know. Even if one of these titles, like, we're, we're really leaning into the fun titles, but if one of these titles sounds like not something you're interested in, just know we're going to be bringing you, like, three or four projects in each video. Something in there will spark some interest. Like, you, oh, you might not have thought of using that in that way or something like that. That's what we're trying to do for you. So that's this week. And then we've, start, we've started Monday's planning already. So I'm going to start building these on the um, YouTube now that I know the titles, I can do the thumbnails. I'm going to build for you guys so that you can um, go ahead and set a notification so you don't miss it. So, yes, we are still doing our Tuesday Night Live. And I'll go ahead and tell you now because I don't want you to worry about her. Shannon won't be here tomorrow night because it is Noah's birthday. Yeah. So they'll be taking him out for his birthday. So you'll just see me and Vinny tomorrow night. Sorry, y'all. So now half the people won't be here. My 10-year-old said, or my soon-to-be 10-year-old said, you have to work on Tuesdays. I was like, I'm sure Miss Mamela can do it. I can handle it. We can handle it without her, right, guys? We can do yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, we but we, we're trading her Tuesday night for Friday afternoon. So we're going to, because normally Shannon leaves at noon on Fridays, but we're going to keep her for the 2 p.m. show. You're going to get me again. You're going to get her, yep. Yeah. So, all right, guys, that's it today. We're so excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, our third show already. Our third show. I've enjoyed it. And we're running about an hour, which I felt like would be the case. About an hour is good. About how big is the bead? It's about an inch. We measured it. Uh, we wanted to make sure we used something about an inch. By the way, if you don't have a wood bead, you can use a um, foam ball. Those worked really good. We saw those use the little pom-poms. And the, um, the oval. How big was that? The little wing oval. I didn't wing measure that one, did I? I didn't measure no. the wing oval. That's the only yes, Michelle, we'll be live tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central <laughs> Daylight Time. It is one and three eighths. Thank y'all for the happy birthdays for Noah. He was so excited to be on the live the other night during the parade. So Did you watch it back when he him, sang Merry Christmas? It was so cute. Was I watched so it back cute. and it was the cutest thing. He was like, Mama, I got to be live on YouTube. He said, he, when I was doing live, he said, what are they saying? And I said, do you want to come see? And he jumped up and came and looked. And then he sang, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And at the end, he went, we wish you a Merry Christmas. It was so yes. funny. Go watch it's it if hilarious. you had not It was cute. All right, guys. Um, let's have prayer before we go, especially since we only have you today and tomorrow. That's all we're going to have you for. So I'm going to let you say a prayer today to, okay. to um, close us out. Let's pray. Hey, God, thanks for this day and for all your blessings. I thank you for each and every person that's watching today. I just pray, God, that you would allow them to feel the love that we have for them and the love that you have for them in some unique and special way. God, it's just, uh, 
we just can't say thank you enough to them and to you for all of your blessings. Uh, and God, I just pray that your peace and that your comfort will be with each and every one. I thank you, God, for their sacrifice to spend time with us, uh, to shop with us, all the things that they do to bless us, God. And I just pray, God, that something that we can do will show them our love for you and our love for them and our gratefulness for all that you do and all they do to, to bless us. Lord, we just praise you. We pray for those that may be sick, those that may be hurting, those that may have lost a loved one, those that might be struggling. God, I pray that your peace and your compassion would just wrap around them, God, and they would know that you're there and that you're comforting them and holding them the best you can. And Lord, we'll give you all the praise and honor and glory for it, for we ask it in your precious son's name. Amen. Amen. Hey, you guys, if you don't forget to remind me tomorrow night at the end of the show, I will tell you that were you not at the meeting story. Remind me, were you not at the meeting because it's hilarious. Are you going to tell it when I'm not here? No, you'll be here tomorrow night. It'll okay. be me and you. So I'll tell it in the after show if y'all remind me that were you not at the meeting story because it was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It kept getting funnier. It was funny. Yes. All right, guys, we love you very much. We hope you have a fantastic